Hello and welcome to episode three, possibly. Uh, yes, three. Okay. So this episode, we're going to be going over making the player animated, pretty much. Now, in the game. He's only walking left, and if we press the left arrow key, he doesn't change animations. Sorry, he's going right, not left. Brain, come on. Wakey, 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 brain. Pick up. Pick up the phone. Anyways, so, that's what we're going to change today. We're also going to, if we've got time, we're going to make this move left and right. And, yeah. I don't think we'll have time for that, though. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. So, we're going to be working in levels here, obviously. Now, the first thing we want to do on this, which we should have done last episode, really, when we were setting up this level, but, um, you know. Oh, also, I did actually make this off camera. I mentioned it at the end of last episode, but if you didn't hear me, this is what we did. We We just made some dirt. So basically I just changed it all and made it different textures and now it's this. Which I also need to rename to grass. And this to coin. And this is already named stone and this needs to be made wooden platform. Okay. So, what we want now is... Oh, and this player. Of course. So we're going to place him on the floor so that he's not falling into the map. There we are. And we're going to go into levels. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, the thing we were supposed to do last time was make a new sprite anywhere and resize it to 32 by 32. Not important that you resize it, but you might want to. It's completely up to you. Make sure that the alpha is changed down to 50. Also not really needed. And just set the size to 100. Or you can also do fill. And just fill it in once. So it's got a colour. But it's not that much of a colour. So you can see it. And we're going to call this. Level. Number. And we're going to give it an instant variable level number and default will be level 1 so there we are now in the levels we're gonna go to system every tick and we're just gonna go into level number set value oh no, actually, hold on. Oh, no, that's completely wrong. Okay. So, that's what we need. So, for this, I'm going to make a group, and I'm going to call it level 1. Now, that's not needed. You don't need the group, but if you've got the premium version, I'm pretty sure it's only premium, well, the full version, but you don't exactly need it. Anyways. Carrying on, I'm going to add a blank sub event so that it goes under the group and it's blank. So we're going to do animations, but first we're going to set up to it WASD movement. To do that, quite simply, keyboard, key is down, W, copy, paste, 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 A. S. Come on, mouse. Stop being a pain. D. WASD. And player. We're going to want simulate control under platform. And W will jump. We can just copy this. Uh, S is not needed because we can't move downwards and D will go right. So A will go left 
D will go right. So now, if we go into here, pressing W will jump, pressing D will go right, and pressing A will go left. As well as the arrow key still working as well. So yeah. So that's that. That's over and done with. Now we're going to need settings. Uh, no settings, animation, sorry. So W is down. We're also going to want player set animation to. Right, now let's, let's start with A. We're going to want player set animation to. A is left, so it's just going to be left. There you go. That's new. It never used to come up with a menu. That's cool. So in here, we're just going to go right. Now, the reason we don't put it here is because we need to do a few checks. So for the jumping one, we're going to put W. But we're also going to put W. And we're going to get rid of both of these. Off them. And keep the set animation. Now we need to check. If A is down. So we're going to make a condition. Uh, player. That's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to have to go condition, keyboard, key is down, A. But we're also going to have to make one for left. So if left or A is down, and W is pressed down, this isn't going to work actually. Um, let's see, how do I do this? Figured it out once. Give me a second. Right, okay. I've just figured this out. Um so basically how I think we can do this is this is pretty advanced stuff by the way. It's not easy. Okay. So we're gonna have I've just done that wrong again, okay. This if A is down and left is or left is down, we'll do left in a minute. If A is down, let's make a sub event and let's make player is moving. So if the if A is down and the player is moving, then obviously he's gonna be moving left. Therefore sub event W. Hold on a minute. This needs to be changed. Not down if W is pressed. Because we don't want them to be able to hold W and keep on jumping. So that's right. Uh, so keyboard on any key. No, not on any key. On key pressed W. So if A is down and platform is moving and W is pressed, then we want to set the animation to, what do we name it? Jump left. So let's just copy this for D. Platform is moving and this is obviously going to be called jump right. So now all we have to do is just copy that and that again and just make sure that this is left arrow this is right arrow oops and this is left so what we should have now is that Sorry, I was using thingy there. 
So as you can see, we now have the movement. So it knows which way it's turning. Okay. Now we need an idle because if he's not doing anything then we don't want him to be just moving constantly. Idly, obviously. Obviously, obviously. Okay, that's going to be right at the top. And idle will be set to import from sprite sheet. This res player. No, that's not a thing. It is in multiple doors res player. This three, four. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There's our idle animation. So, obviously, that's going to be that. Oh, yeah. So. This is so much easier in just programming language because you could just have else. These could all be ifs. And then there's just an else, but obviously there are events. I'm not sure if you'll be able to do this in the free version because of the event limit, but if not, you can just take a few of the features out and make well, yeah. It's worth buying the engine. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay. Don't just give up now, obviously. You, you can still use the free engine, just don't use as many features. So, for example, you can just disable the arrow keys and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, what was I doing now? Oh yeah, okay. So, actually, I'm going to disable the arrow keys because we don't need them. We don't need them. So let's just do that now. In here, default controls just set it to no. So in here, we can no longer use the arrow keys to move, but we can use WA and A. We what? <laughs> yeah, so it's fun, you know. Uh, so basically, all we need to do now is just copy that and copy that. Oops, let's just drag that down one. There we go. So when A isn't down, better yet, better yet, better yet. Check this out. Keys down, A. And keys down, D. That's wrong again. Condition, keys down, D. Click on it, press I, click on it, press I, so when they're not down, so when both of the keys aren't down, then we just want to set the animation to idle. So, when we play, WA and not down, when they are down, when they are down, it moves, when they're not down, it doesn't move. So there you are. Now obviously you probably don't want that. You probably want something that just... Oh, crap. Uh, why is W not working? Did I make a bug? I just deleted W, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. That might have to be... Okay, that can't be pressed then. It's just going to have to be down. That was a that was a test. I knew that was gonna happen totally. It doesn't change anything like But um, you know. Oh. Yeah, well. Oh, it might have actually still worked. I can't jump there either. I don't know. Anyway, probably a bug. Anyway. That's um some pretty interesting stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Sorry it's been a long one. Sorry I've blabbered on for quite a bit. And um, 
Next episode, we'll be going over making this move, and then we'll be going over making these pick up, uh, being able to be picked up, and then we'll be going over these. So yeah, look forward to that. See you soon.